welcome back to my garden. In today's video, I have a few things that I like to do. We're going to make a quick run to Lowe's Garden Center and we're also going to be planting up these beautiful containers over here in this area. So come on you guys, let's get to it. The car that I need to take is blocked in so we're just gonna have to roll with it come on you guys let's go shop so i'm getting gas and it tells me that my limit has been reached my tank is not even full yet this is crazy how can my limit be reached gas has the nerve to be five dollars and 84 cents a gallon this is insane just made it back from Lowe's let's go ahead head over and let's get these babies planted up Now in this area of my garden, I have a quad of concrete containers. Now I've planted up two. The other two have hydrangeas that we use for our springtime display. Now you guys, in my garden in the springtime, in my back garden, because we're actually in my backyard. And that's one of the comments that I get so often. This is not our front yard. This is the back yard to our garden. Now, I have my garden sectioned off in garden rooms, right? So, in this area, we've planted up the two, so let's talk about the plants that we use. Now, in the center, in order to bring cohesion, the other planters were planted up in the early spring. So, that was to complement the planters that we had planted up in the front. So now what I did was I came in with every intention to come in with the evergreen myrtle. Now, these are catapulted up high, so it draws the eye up high, but then it also draws the eye back because we've mirrored a little bit of what we've done in the back. We just did it a little bit different. We used a graceful grasses, blue mohawk, or a junkus and flexus. We used a super tunia bordeaux a Snow Princess Lobularia, a Super Vena Imperial Blue, a Super Tunia Vista Snow Drift. We use another Super Tunia Bordeaux, and then we use a, another Super Vena. Now, our Super Vena here is a little bit on the dry side. That is okay. So, as I was putting that in, I literally saturated it in water and popped it in. I'm not going to throw it out because it's okay. And you guys, if you have been following me for some time, last season I had a uh, flat of Super Tunia Priscilla, right? And you guys, it was behind a plant, some plant cans that were higher. 
and that is one of the reasons why I need to get some type of greenhouse on the property because I have a lot of plants that I use throughout the season and that way it will help keep them nice. Supertunia Vista Priscilla, you guys were horrible and I ended up coming in, doctoring these good sisters back to health and we planted them up in a beautiful arrangement, you guys. Mouths dropped, honey, because baby, they told your girl up in the comments, like, just the things that they were saying, but I wasn't worried about it. It's all in good fun, all in good spirit, but that is what we did here. Now, we do still have the uh, hydrangeas in these lower containers, so I am gonna go ahead and pop those out really quick. I'm just going to pop these up really quick. Okay, so I gave this one a little bit more support. It was the one that was literally down on this side. I am going to water these in very well. And then I'll be potting them up to their next container that they'll be staying in. I really enjoy having these as part of my spring display. But they're going to continue to bloom throughout the summertime. But they're definitely not part of my summer display. Now, I will be going in and finishing the containers that's over there. Because I've only did two of actually three of the four containers let's really just say 2.5 of the containers because there is going to be under plantings of underneath the other container i'm going to go ahead and call the video quiz for today thank you guys for watching thank you guys for hanging out with me and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye